I'm doing a solo playthrough of Floriferous. Um, this is a game by Steve Finn, Eduardo Baroff, and Clementine Campardo. It is a pencil first game. It is good for one to four players, and um, it's a fairly quick game to play actually. So again, this is a solo playthrough. I will be walking through um, some, of the, some of the setup here. Um, so I have these bounty cards. There's three that you place out. And then we have the garden cards, which you will need to remove five structure cards. And they actually have these symbols on it for easy uh, removal. Um, you'll just have to find um, cards that have the symbol on the bottom left of it. So it kind of looks like a workshop blue icon. So there's five cards you'll have to remove. Um, you'll have to just grab one player marker. So I decided to choose this um, nice pink one. And we have the crow, the crow deck. So this is basically the AI deck. Um, we have three markers here, which will be hopefully allow me to put one on each of these bounties to gain scores. Um, at the end of each of my days. This is a cup of tea card. So in a solo play, uh, solo mode, you will get this as your own card. Um, you could choose to discard this card to ignore something that the crow does. Um, so I'll keep that right here. And then we have the, um, what do they call those? I forget. Um, yeah, desire cards. So these are the desire cards. These will help give you extra points at the end of the game. These are the garden cards. So in order to set up for a, a solo game, you'll have to set up as if you were a two-player game. And there's a great um, diagram on the back for what that setup looks like. So in the yellow, we have the three um, bounty cards. And then we have two rows of garden cards with two of them face down and then you'll see those little dots on the top right of row three of three three of those cards that means you'll put stones on them which i do have on the side here and then on the bottom in the pink those are the desire cards face up so i'll go ahead and do that so these will be face up face down face up face down face up and then the rest of them will also be face up. Okay. All right. So we'll put these here. We'll have a discard pile for the garden cards here. And then we'll flip over five desire cards and these will help if you collect um, some of the certain sets in your bouquet um, i believe that's what this is it's called you're collecting these flower cards to kind of build up your own display of flowers and then you'll score them based off of whether or not they have the same color you have the same kind of insects on them because you'll see some of these cards have insects um, which will help with the collection of uh, the sets that you need to complete the bounties. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much the setup. I do have the stones here. It's very, very nice looking stones. And then there is a nice player guide here, um, turn guide. So it's a card size, so each player can get one. So in a solo mode, obviously, um, this would be helpful. It pretty much doesn't tell you about the crow uh, steps, but um, that's something that you'll have to know that in between your turns, the crow will flip over a card and do its uh, do its action. So we'll go ahead and begin the game. Um, I will hold my cards that I have, um, and uh, this way it won't take up any real estate here on this uh, play mat. So to begin the game, you start from left to right, and then from right to left. Um, I believe it's uh, three days that we have to play for. Um, so yeah, playing the solo game. So you'll be going... Yeah, the 
end of the day, after checking bounty, resolve the crow. Resolving the crow. Okay, so I may need to reference this um, just in case. This is my first full playthrough of this game. I played a few um, turns before doing this video just so I could see what the game was about. Um, but otherwise, I'm trying to see how many days there are in a solo game. Um, but anyway, it says, if it's the end of the third day, complete scoring. Yeah, so it is three days, even for solo. Good to know. Um, I just want to make sure that the columns are... Because it, it doesn't say exactly when to move. left I think okay well anyway that's how we'll we'll proceed um, because I did I did watch someone stream their gameplay and um, when they were moving their uh, marker they did go from right to left for the second day and then for the third day they moved from left to right anyway so that's how we'll do it so the point of this game is to try to collect the right cards to maximize your scores. So your score could come from uh, the bounties and it will also come from your desire cards. And then also I believe this will still count if you still have this, gather the most stones by the end of the game to earn a cup of tea and two points. Um, so you do have two points here on the card, but if you decide to use it to ignore a crow, crow uh, action, then you don't have those two points at the end of the game. Um, so that's something you should note. So let's begin the game. Uh, so the first action when you're taking a turn is to take a card from the next column. And if the card has a stone on it, you could take it as well. Oh, that's something I need to do. I need to set up the stones. So I believe these were where it needed to be. It was only in the middle row on three cards. You can see again from those dots, that's where the stones go. So now we can truly begin. This is, uh, yeah, this is all set up now. So it looks like I'll need three cards here for each of these. So this is a beetle, a ladybug, and a bumblebee. Um, so looking at all the available cards here, assuming I won't have any discarded on me by the crow, I could probably do... Hmm. So this one definitely won't be realistic because there are not enough lilies out. I would need two lilies. And if I complete it on day one, I get five points. If I complete it on day three, I get, um, I mean, day one is five points, day two is three points, day three is two points. So lilies are a little scarce right now. So I might have to wait for day, th day two or three to do it. Um, but let's see, maybe there will be a daisy, a mum. So I do see a mum, no daisies. Although I have to consider these face down cards. They could have those cards that I need. Um, so even now looking, I won't be able to do this one. And then this one, I'm looking for a beetle. Um, hmm, I don't see a beetle. So I can't even do that one. I don't see a beetle anywhere. Hmm. I guess that's okay. I guess I'll, I could try to focus on these desire cards then and see what I can collect in terms of that. Um, so let's start. So I could get something like this where if I get three, four, or five of the of these flowers with different colors, um, then I get five points or uh, five different insects on cards. I could get different points, uh, seven points there. Um, uh, five cards of the same, um, five cards of the same insect, I get 10 points, and then three points per butterfly, two points per um, white colored card. Hmm. So butterflies are also scarce. Man, this is gonna be a tough one. Um, I don't think I can really maximize too much on my score at this point. So maybe I'll collect stones 
in the meantime. So let me just do that. That might be my best bet. So I'll collect a stone and then I'll place my player marker here. So right now I have a mum that also has a B. Helpful for this, helpful for that. Now is the crow, so let's see what the crow will do. So this is the crow card, and this says that you have to um, discard the next column's uh, desire card and then place a stone on it. So we'll go ahead and discard this desire card. Oops, I'm sorry. So we'll discard here, and then we'll place one stone. You'll see the significance of this soon. So now it's my turn. Now I am limited in my choices. I can choose between these and these two. Um, hmm. And the mum could be useful to, to complete this. So I think I'll go for something I know is there. Collect that. So we now have two mums with a B. Um, so this could be used for the mum and this could be used for the B. And then I just need the daisy, I think. That's what, that's what would be left, the daisy. Um, let's see. So now it is the crow turn. So this one says to remove the uh, second row and replace with a stone. So this will be removed. Discarded, replaced with the stone, so I cannot have chosen that. Now I have to decide between the poppy or this desire card. Um, I don't think I'll need the poppy, but there is a B on it. I'm not sure I need that either. So I think I'm just going to go for this desire card. I'll place that right here um, just to, to make a note that I have this. I'll place my stones on my cup of tea. Okay. All right, so that's what I did there. Let's see what the crow will do. So the crow is actually going to uh, replace the next column's middle card with a face down card. So the poppy is gone and this is face down. So now there's two unknowns in this column, but I do know the um, desire card, which is three points per butterfly. Um, I don't really see that as an option right now. Unless I can hope that day two and three will have more cards with butterfly. So I'm just going to take a chance with one of these. I'll go with this one. It's a poppy. This is probably one I did not need. And that's fine. That's okay. So we'll put that there because that's where I just took the card from. The crow will take its turn. And it's going to replace the top card with a face down card. So this will be gone. I did not need a poppy, so hopefully this is something better. Um, and then there's this one, which has a bunch of stuff going on. So, I'm not sure if this means that if I pick this up, let me confirm what all those icons mean. Um, so those are called arrangement cards. The requirements for each arrangement card are found in a white ribbon at the bottom of the card. So um, I could score one point if I have one of these aspects. If you have two aspects, three points, five points if you have all three. A single card may account for multiple aspects. Ooh, that's pretty neat. So what do I, what do I have? Do I have, ooh, I have a poppy. I have a poppy. I don't have a moth, so maybe not. I I'll look at this one because I may need it. So let's do that. It's a poppy. <laughs> um, this isn't very helpful. Um, that's okay. Anyway, uh, so this is the last day. Um, so now on the last, um, I'm sorry, not the last day. This is the end of the day. So let's see what I have to do here. At the end of the day, after checking bounty cards, resolve the crow. So unfortunately, none of the bounty cards here are fulfilled by what I have in my hand. Um, 
So those are checked. And now we have to resolve the crow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Collect any stones placed in the garden by the crow and place them on the crow card. So there's two. So I place two on the crow card. And then I can return any number of stones from my collection to the supply to remove an equal number of stones from the crow card. I only have one stone, so if I wanted to remove a, a stone, I could. So I'll go ahead and do that. I removed one from me, one from the, the crow. And then if the crow card has four or more stones on it, I could choose and discard a card in my collection. It could be a garden card or a desire card and return all, all stones on the crow card to the supply. Um, but if the crow card has three or fewer, which only has one right now, um, nothing happens. And then we'll continue on our turn. Um, and just so you know, when I move the gardener pawn, I can actually move it um, to a place that has a crow's stone and not take a card if I prefer to do that. Um, so that's good to know. Okay, so let's proceed and we will have to discard all the cards that were not taken and then we set it up exactly the way we have set it up before. That's going to be face up, face down, face up, face down, face up. And then all of these here will be face up. Then we have the desire cards that will be face up. Okay. The bounties stay the same throughout the game. Um, and then we'll place those three stones. Okay. So now we'll move from right to left. Um, I think I will... Do I keep the stuff that's in my hand? That's a silly question, but I'm not sure. So let's see. Um, this is our new day. However, after the first set of the garden to the left of the gardener ponds, move from right to the left. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't say... I don't keep my cards. Um, yeah, okay. Alright, so let's start this second day. Um, so, this time... I do have more variety. I have a beetle, I have a ladybug, and I have a bumblebee in my hand. So, if I could get this beetle at the end of the game, at the end of this day, I, that'd be great. Um, but let's start off with a... I think I'll get this desire card. This says if two plants are the same, then I could get uh, points. Do that. And we'll see what the crow does. So I was going to remove this desire card and replace it with two stones, which is not great. Um, and then I'm going to just choose this mystery card. Alright. So this one is an arrangement card. I'll need a, um, what is that? A mum, a pink flower, and a beetle. So that's pretty neat because I have a mum and a pink mum, which is great because one card could help uh, satisfy these requirements. And I just need a beetle. Okay. Let's see what the crow will do. Okay, so the crow will take this card out and replace it with two stones. Um, I think I'll collect the mum because now that I have this desire card, I'll have a set of three mums which will give me two 
two points. So I'll grab this mum. See what the ninja does. The ninja. Oh my goodness. The crow. <laughs> I don't know where ninja came from. Anyway. Um. So the ninja will take <laughs> the ninja. I keep saying ninja. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Um. So the crow will replace this with a face down card. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> we'll choose likely a daisy because that can help with this one. Let's do that. <laughs> and then the crow will do its last thing this turn. Um. I think I'll do a tulip because it has that beetle I need. So I'll do that. Okay, so now that that's done, we check for bounties. So for day two, uh. Did I complete that one? So we have a ladybug, and then we need a bee, which I do have, a bee, and then we need a beetle. Do I not have a beetle? Okay, so no beetle. So this is not going to work this day. Now for this one, we need um, a daisy, which is this one. So a daisy, a mum, so we'll use this as the mum, and then this as a bumblebee. So yes, I did complete this on day two, so I'll get three points for this. Alright, and then for this bounty, I will need, I don't even have any of those, what are those lilies? I need two lilies. So. That's that. We resolve the crow. We'll add these stones. It still just has... Oh, no. It has more. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, now I do have to discard one. Um, hmm. I think I'll discard this one. I'll discard the, uh, the desire card and then remove all the stones from the crow. Okay. All right. So that is the crow. Unfortunately, we do have to shuffle these up, the crow cards, for the final day. Um, I'm probably looking like I'm not going to score very well, but you never know. Things could turn around next game, next day. So let's replace these cards. And then let's get the new garden cards out. Okay. Uh, nope, this face down, this face up. And these are all face up. Ooh. So I see no lilies still. <laughs> these lilies, I'm not sure where they are. So that's going to be difficult. Wow. Alright. Now to place out the desire cards. One, two, three, four, five. And now we go from left to right. Um, man, what do I need? So I have a beetle. Would be nice to get this arrangement through too. I need a beetle. So let's see, do I have beetles? This is the only beetle that, that is visible. So I'm gonna try to get this beetle. Um, so in the meantime, I will also want to get a poppy, I guess. So we'll get a, a poppy with a bumblebee. No, we'll get a beetle. A ladybug, I mean. Okay, so let's see what the crow will do. Um, so the crow is going to replace this with a face down one. That's the one card I needed. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, I will just 
take a chance with this. Okay. See what the crow will do. It's gonna replace this with two stones. I will take hmm. Nothing's gonna help me there. Oh my goodness. I really needed that beetle. Okay. I'll just have to take this for no reason. Let's see what the crow does. Just gonna take the desire card and put a face one down. I will look at this one because I don't think I need the daisy. Nope, it was a daisy. I need a beetle. And that was my last chance. The crow. Let's see. We'll replace this with a stone. And maybe I'll just get a tulip because there's nothing left to, to get. We'll get that tulip. Okay. So let's let's see. I don't think I have a beetle. No. So unfortunately, this was a fail. I did not get that bounty card. And I did not get this one because there were no... Oh, I have one lily. One. That's it. One lily. So no, I didn't even fulfill this one. But anyway, the crow has three stones, so nothing to resolve there. I don't have to discard anything. Um, and now we just get to scoring. That was, that was the third day. So the back side of this card does have um, some scoring references. But basically, if you have two stones, which I have none, uh, it would be equal to one point, and you would round down. Arrangement cards, you basically score one, three, or five points for completing one, two, or three of the aspects. Um, so, goodness, I think arrangement cards... They say... If you have one of these aspects, three points are you at two and five if you have all three. So I could probably get looking at this arrangement card. Let me just clear this so I could do my scoring properly without any uh distraction. Okay. So I have this arrangement and I need a um a mum. So I do have a mum with a beetle. So where's that? Where's my mum with a beetle? Ooh, maybe I don't have one. Okay. So I have a mum, and it's pink. That's what it was. It was a mum, and it was pink. So I get three points for that. So I'm just going to keep track of it with um, a die real quick. So I have three points plus three is six because I have uh, three points from this bounty. So, so far I have six points. And uh, desire cards. This one, I only have one desire card. For same flowers, I get so many points. Okay, so page 13 of the rule book tells you some details. So for the... Um, same flower, I could score 0, 1, 2, 4, or 7 points for having the respective same colors regardless of color. Same flowers, okay. So it looks like I can do... Um, oh, just so you know, the desire card is only scored once on the largest set meeting that requirement. So you don't score it multiple times. Um, so in terms of having the same flowers, let's see have two daisies, two tulips, uh, one, two, three poppies, so so far possibly three, and then we have three mums, three daisies and one lily. So three is the magic number, so I'm going to get two. Okay, so so far we have eight points, and then we'll look at bounty cards, which are already scored with a three, so that's included. Sculpture cards, um, I don't think I had any sculpture cards, because in solo mode, you had to remove the five sculpture cards. And then cup of tea, so a cup of tea luckily gives me two points. So with that, I have a high score of um, ten. And there is a breakdown in the back. Um, in the solo rules where you um, fall in this table and um, I was playing the standard game and there is a level of your mood here 
I got 10 points, which is not even listed on the chart. So it's under uh, fewer than 21 points, which means my mood is anxious. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I think I will definitely have to give this game another try. I think, um, I think my luck was just terrible. I, I, these bounty cards just did not work well with the cards I had out. Um, but that didn't make it any less fun. Although just slightly frustrating that I couldn't actually have had a chance to get these bounties because I didn't have those cards out in the first place to choose from. And then meanwhile, the crow was taking cards or the card that I needed um, in the previous uh, day. So anyway, overall, this is a, a beautiful game. I will probably set this up to play again. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your high score is if you end up playing yourself. Um, and yeah, definitely like, subscribe, or comment. Um, any thoughts? And um, stay tuned for any new playthroughs or unboxings. Thanks.